In this video, we like to show some drills you can use as we gear Vera up for preseason. Here is a drill that focuses on both fitness and defensive skills. It involves dynamic movements with the ball, designed to challenge players from both teams. Here's how it works. Divide the players into two teams and set up two sets of cones, each about 10 meters apart. Players will move the ball back and forth between the cones with a five yard break in between each set. The red team's objective is to move the ball from the red cone to the yellow cone and then progress to the next set. Meanwhile, the blue team aims to return the ball from the yellow cone to the red cone. It's a straightforward yet effective drill, offering plenty of ball touches while also working on fitness. Next drill. Speed and agility are crucial in soccer for several reasons. Firstly, they enable players to outpace opponents, creating scoring opportunities and preventing goals. Additionally, quick movements allow players to react swiftly to changes in the game, such as interceptions or sudden shifts in play. Moreover, agility helps players navigate through tight spaces, evade defenders, and maintain possession of the ball. This exercise is quite simple but very effective. The players run sideways between the cones and further up to the poles, where they also run through and back to the start. Stamina is essential in soccer because it ensures players can maintain high levels of performance throughout the entire match. It enables them to sustain intense physical activity, such as running, sprinting, and tackling, without experiencing fatigue. With good stamina, players can consistently contribute to both offensive and defensive efforts, making them more effective and valuable on the field. Additionally, stamina helps players recover quickly during breaks in play, allowing them to remain competitive until the final whistle. In this exercise, it's all about being quick on your feet. You run in triangles, and for each time you have run in a triangle, you go up a cone and continue until there are no more cones. It is a hard exercise, but very effective. If you feel that the track is too big, you can always take some cones away so that they have to run shorter distances. 